What's the rule of 72? Well, you divide your interest rate into 72 to find the approximate number of years it would take for your money to double without adding to it. Most savings accounts are less than 1%, which means it would take 72 years to double your money without adding to it. Well, at 3%, it would take 24 years. 6% it would take 12 years. At 12%, it would only take six years. But look at, more importantly, look at what your, your retirement would be. Do you want $40,000, $160,000, or over $2.5 million? And everything we're going to discuss today is going to give you a return between 9 and 12%. Should we have learned this rule in school? I believe so. And if not for you watching this video, how would you have learned about the rule of 72? And quite honestly, the first time I ever heard about it was watching this presentation. And we're going to cover how you get between 9 and 12% return on your money. Debt stacking is another great way to not pay the bank millions of dollars in interest. You see, let's say, for instance, you, uh, for hypothetical reasons, your bill, your monthly obligations, all your bills total at twenty-seven twenty every month. Normally, the way people pay their bills off is when retail credit card one is paid off, they take that $220 and blow it on something else. And we're here to tell you that that is what the banks want you to do. Whereas if you took that $220 and added to your next credit card of $353 and paid $573, you're still paying $27.20. And then you do that when credit card two is paid off, add it to your car payment of $551 to pay $1124. You're still paying $27.20 every month. And then when the car is paid off, add that to your credit card one of $303 and pay $1427. You're still paying $27.20 every month. And then do that for your mortgage as well. You see, doing it the old way, you're paying 23 years and over $214,400 in interest alone. Just in interest. Now, just to put that number into perspective, take your immediate family, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, if they're still with us, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, niece, nephew, cousins, aunts, uncles, that's your immediate number. Take that number and multiply it by 214,442, and in your immediate family, that's how much of contribution you made to the bank CEO's Christmas bonus. Whereas doing it plan B, your debt's paid off nine years, 14 years sooner with a savings of over $130,643 in interest avoided. That's 130643 of potential income that stayed with you. <clears throat> what could you do with an extra $130,000? Continue to invest twenty-seven twenty each month at 9% until age 67. You could have to, over $2.4 million for retirement. How do you think the bank CEOs are getting multi-million dollar Christmas bonuses? And we complain about that, but yet we readily contribute to that. Pay yourself first when you don't. There's high cost of waiting. $200 a month savings at 9% for 40 years. If you're age 25, in 40 years, you'd be 65. You would have just shy of a million dollars for retirement. Just doing that simple, simple, simple investment. Waiting one year, you subject yourself to lose over $83,000 for that same retirement. Wait five years, it's over 350500 Wait 15 years, it's over $717,300, almost $717,400 lost for your retirement, all things being equal, just waiting longer to do it. That's why people have to work well beyond age 65. The longer you wait to plan, the longer you work past age 65.